Welcome back. So last lesson we have, in last video, we set up our project Balloon Pop and we're now back in our project interface. We're gonna have a tour around the designer interface of App Inventor. So the App Inventor interface is divided into four columns. You can see on the screen here, the first one is the palette area. The second part is the viewer, where you can see the screen and how your app looks like. The third column is your components and media, which is really what has been added onto your phone already. The fourth column is properties. Now let's walk through every single column, what it does and how we can use that. So number one is our palette. The palette is where we can find our components and drag them on the viewer and add them to your app. This is really just like a palette when you're painting or when you're uh, mixing and matching colors where you can find any components you really need to add to your app. The palette is divided into several categories themselves as well. If you look into the palette, the always, the default is always user interface, which are the buttons, checkbox, date picker, image, label, etc. So these components are organized by alphabetical order. And after the user interface category, you will be able to see layout, which is horizontal arrangement. You can see horizontal scroll arrangement, etc. Don't worry if you don't know what these components are about yet. We will be learning all of these components step by step once we start building apps. Just want to show you a few more categories of palettes. Uh, here we have media, which is all sorts of fun things like the camera, the image picker, player sound. Um, we also have the drawing and animation category, which is the ball, canvas, and image sprites. Very useful for, um, for any time you want to build a game. Also feel free to explore other categories here, including the maps, the sensors, and social, etc. Now after the palette, we move on into the grand center of the screen, which is always the viewer. The viewer is really where you can drag your components from the palette to the app that you're designing. So this is where you can see, so view, right? So you can see what your app will look like. Right next to the viewer, there is the components. Components and media is really where you can see what has been added onto your app so far. Later on, as we're adding more and more components and as we're adding more media, maybe it's an image or is a sound file, you're gonna start to see this column getting populated with components and several media files. Next, we have our properties. The properties is where you can select a specific components and change its properties there. So right now, we only have one component on our screen, which is our screen one component. So the screen itself is a component as well with App Inventor. And since it's already selected, you can see that we can change several properties underneath. We can change properties that are related to the screen. One thing very straightforward is to change the app name. So we talked about how in App Inventor, it doesn't allow us to have space when it comes to naming our projects. You're free to change however your app is called on the App Store. And how you can change that is basically updating the app name property here and 
the straightforward thing that I want to change is to have a space next to my app. And there we go. So you are able to see um, the balloon pop app now has a space in between. It's easier for people to read, so on and so forth. We can also change the background color of our app. And you can also change, this is one of my favorites to change as well. Like you can also change the title of the screen. Um, currently, the title is called Screen One. And it's probably not necessary for us to tell our user that this is screen one. So I'm going to just change it to also my app name, Balloon Pop. So there we go. This is pretty much our um, designer interface. Um, there are a few other components on the designer interface that we can play around with. So on the top front here, you can see that there's screen one. You can also press add screen. And if I want to do that, I can say, okay. And it will jump right into screen two for me. So for now, for the beginner version of the apps, we are going to do screen one only. And um, yeah, let's now jump into the blocks area. So for now, we're going to focus on so for now, we're going to focus on only one screen apps. Don't worry, we will always add more screens in future, more complicated apps. And there we go. <clears throat> we can toggle between designer interface and blocks interface by pressing these two buttons. And now let's jump into the blocks interface.